What is a Sulawesi shrimp? The fascinating world of Sulawesi shrimp keeping and breeding. If you've been in the hobby or new to shrimp keeping, I'm sure you come across photos and videos of these unique shrimp called Sulawesi shrimp. But what exactly are they? Welcome everyone, it's Ray from RW Aquarium Pages. I'm here to share my journey in planted aquariums, shrimp tanks, and everything in between. In this video, I'll share some of my experiences with keeping and breeding Sulawesi shrimp and talk about them. You've probably started with cherry shrimp or neocaridina species, which does well in any tap water. Then you ventured into caridina shrimp and realized and learned about specific water parameters. That's how I started with my shrimp keeping journey, but then came Sulawesi shrimp. My first venture into them was around 2005. Sulawesi shrimp is a freshwater dwarf shrimp with unique colors and movements and found in the Sulawesi area of Indonesia. Appearance-wise, their colors and patterns are striking, almost marine-like. I read somewhere once, but not sure if it's true or not, that these lakes used to be saltwater and then evolved into fresh. Does anybody know the truth about the story? Please comment below. Movement-wise, they have graceful characteristics. For example, the Sulawesi Cardinal, the white gloves, moves with their hands really fast and it's a very unique movement. They also hover around rocks, slightly different movement than Neocaridina or Caridina shrimp. These shrimp come from three unique lakes of Sulawesi. Lake Poso, Lake Matano, and Lake Toti. The unique thing about these three lakes are the water parameters. Temperature-wise, it's warmer around 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The pH is around 8.1 to 8.4. The general hardness GH is around 7 and the carbonate hardness KH is around 5 with a TDS around 100. So soft, basic, and warm water. I'm sure you know that in more advanced shrimp keeping, water parameters within range is important. Most people use salty shrimp Sulawesi 8.5 or 7.5 mix to get these water conditions. Sulawesi shrimp that comes from Lake Matano are the most common are the white socks and the mini blue. Lake Poso contains the easier Sulawesi shrimp to keep and breed. For example, the white orchids and the blue-legged posos. The Sulawesi shrimp from Lake Toti are the hardest to keep and breed. Some examples are the red orchids and the harlequin and the tigaris. But the yellow cheek also comes from this lake and is a little bit easier to breed in captivity. A mature aquarium is required to keep these shrimp. It's also recommended to do drip water changes once per month for these shrimp as they don't like sudden changes. Drip water changes detract many people from wanting to keep these shrimp. Although I've been successful in keeping and breeding these shrimp, they're slightly more difficult than Neocaridina or Caridina shrimp. I have some excellent detailed video on my channel about their care, setting up an aquarium for them, and also how to feed them. Check it out when you get a chance to. Have you had a chance to see, keep, or breed Sulawesi shrimp? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I absolutely love sharing my experiences, success and failures with everyone. It's just so exciting to document my journey in planted shrimp tanks and to share it with others. Stay tuned for more informative videos as I've got plenty of content in store for you. Thanks for watching and listening to my rambles. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day and happy shrimp keeping. Thanks for watching.